just seems that the economy does better under the Democrats than the Republicans. Trump failed to deliver on his number one campaign promise. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. Donald Trump is now the worst jobs president in American history. President Trump presided over a historic net loss of nearly 3 million American jobs. The worst jobs numbers ever recorded under an American president. This is no fluke. America's economy has almost always done worse under Republican presidents. A New York Times analysis found that since 1933, the U.S. economy has grown nearly twice as fast on average under Democrats. Now, Trump's defenders claim it's not his fault that the economy collapsed under his watch. It was the pandemic. We've done a great job. Uh, the press won't give us credit for it. But there are two big things wrong with this. First, the pandemic recession was as bad as it was because of Trump. His failure to lead with any national strategy. You bought yourself some time and you didn't use it to prepare hospitals. Let, let, let me just, listen. Dead. Left America in chaos throughout 2020 long after other nations had developed coordinated testing, tracing, and social distancing plans that allowed them to reopen their economies. And secondly, even before the pandemic, Trump failed to deliver on his economic promises. As much as he liked to claim, I built the greatest economy ever built anywhere in the world. It just isn't true. Long before the pandemic, America's job growth slowed under Trump. America added more jobs in President Obama's last three years than in Trump's first three. Even before the pandemic, most middle-class American households saw their incomes go down under Trump. Trump's major economic policy was cutting taxes on the rich and big corporations. He promised it would result in a $4,000 pay raise. How did that work out? Did you get a $4,000 raise? Republicans keep claiming that if we just cut enough taxes on the rich, the wealth will trickle down. But it never works. Ronald Reagan signs into law the largest income tax cut in American history. Wage growth slowed after Reagan's tax cuts for the rich and big corporations. As we stand here, Americans cannot find the jobs that they need to pay their bills. The Bush and Trump tax cuts didn't trickle down either. These giveaways to the wealthy came at the expense of investments in infrastructure, education, and healthcare, making life more expensive and difficult for everyone who isn't rich. They also exploded the debt and deficit. Reagan oversaw a 186% increase in the national debt the biggest percentage increase in over 70 years. The Bush and Trump tax cuts that mostly benefited corporations and the rich are the main reasons why America's debt is growing faster than the economy. Republican presidents have led us into the three worst economic crises of the last century. And Democrats led us out of them. Republicans talk about running the country like a business, but they want to run it the way Trump ran his businesses, with massive debts, a string of failures, and payouts for the folks at the top, while workers get shafted again and again. Given Republicans' track record, why would any hardworking American put their financial security in the hands of a Republican president ever again?